Okay, so we would like to uh, emphasize the sharpness of the maximum of this probability as a function of energy. First of all, we have shown that the magnitude of the energy fluctuations are uh, basically scaling as the maximum value of the uh, maximum probability energy, E tilde, divided by square root of f. So let's assume that E tilde is much greater than the ground state energy under this condition. Okay, so uh, this basically allows us to say E tilde minus the ground state energy is approximately equal to E tilde. Now for a typical uh, macroscopic system, uh, let's consider a typical uh, macroscopic system for system A. Uh, this is going to have uh, one mole of atoms, one mole of atoms. If it's in a three-dimensional world, uh, we also have to multiply the number of atoms with three in order to get the number of degrees of freedom. Remember, for each atom, we have to specify nx, ny, and nz. So, <clears throat> Avogadro's number is 10 to 23. So, multiplied by 6 times 10 to 23, we will get something or the, of the order of 10 to 24 for the uh, number of degrees of freedom. Um, so, the delta E that we will get uh, therefore will be of the following order 1 over 10 to 24 square root it is 10 to minus 12 multiplied by e tilde so what we have here is indeed the magnitude of the fluctuation is much 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 less than the most probable energy so what we have is that the energy values for system A uh, never practically uh, differs from E tilde. So therefore, if I ask you what is the mean value of the energy, E bar, it's going to be equal to E tilde. So mean energy and most probable energy are the same thing uh, in this case and if you consider the relative magnitude of the fluctuations uh, delta e divided by uh, e tilde this will be proportional to 1 over square root f uh, relative magnitude of uh, fluctuations again will be exceedingly small if I have a many particle uh, system a microscopic system that, that consists of many particles uh, this is going to be exceedingly small all right so therefore we reach the conclusion that energy almost never differs from uh, the most probable energy value e tilde and therefore it is the uh, average value of the energy it's the mean energy uh, e bar we will get so normally uh, we have energy is equal to e bar plus or minus delta e the fluctuations but delta e is uh, much less than e bar so we have the most probable value of energy is equal to uh, e bar uh, most of the time 